Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Chemistry Land. Today in the present video we are going to see about the topic that is uh, oxidation of glycerol. What are the reactions involved in the oxidation of glycerol? Let us see the reactions briefly. So in the present video we are going to see about the topic that is oxidation of glycerol. So first glycerol is oxidized to form the products that is this is the first product and this is the second product. This one is glycerol decay that is 2,3 dihydroxy propanol. What is the formula for glycerol decay that is CHO, CHO gauge, CH2O gauge. This is glycerol, this is the formula for glycerol. Glycerol is oxidized to give the product that is here this is alcohol, primary alcohol, which is oxidized to form the aldehyde. CH2O, which is alcohol, which is oxidized to form CHO. So, this is glycerol decay. The another name is 2,3 dihydroxy propanol. That is, this is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon. So, in the second carbon, there is a hydroxy group. In the third carbon, there is a hydroxy group. So, 2,3 dihydroxy propanol that is propanoldehyde al al means aldehyde so propanoldehyde then the glycerol which oxidizes to give the another product which is dihydroxy acetone uh, what is the formula for acetone that is ch3co ch3 this is acetone here we get the product as dihydroxy acetone that is 1,3 dihydroxy propane to own that is in the first carbon atom one hydroxy group here there is a keto group which is formed that is carbonyl group here CHOH the alcohol which is oxidized to CHOH is oxidized to C double bond O that is keto group here CH2OH so 1,3 dihydroxy propane propane because there is a 3 carbon atom so propane 2 own that is ketone. These are the 2 products which are obtained by the oxidation of glycerol. Let us see the uh, next step that is the glyceraldehyde which is oxidized to form glyceric acid. Here the glyceraldehyde CHO which is oxidized to form COOH an acid. So, COOH, CHOH, CH2OH. Glyceric acid is obtained. The another name is 2,3 dihydroxy propanoic acid. That is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon. In the second carbon atom, hydroxy group. In the third carbon atom, that is hydroxy group. So, 2,3 dihydroxy propanoic acid. So, this is the next step and this glyceric acid which undergoes oxidation to form tartronic acid that is here one acid group here CHOH here the alcohol which is oxidized to form acid. <coughs> so the another name is 2 hydroxy propane 1 comma 3 dioic acid that is here in the second carbon atom there is a hydroxy group so 2 hydroxy propane 1 comma 3 dioic acid there is two carbo, uh, acid groups that is in the first one and third one so dioic acid this is the third step and we will see the next step that is here the dihydroxy acetone and the tartonic acid here which undergoes oxidation to give the same product that is dihydroxy acetone and here the tartonic acid this two products undergoes oxidation to give the same product which is meso oxalic acid that is here the alcohol group which is oxidized to form acid here a keto group here the alcoholic group which undergoes oxidation to form acid so this is a meso oxalic acid the another name is 2 oxopropane 1 comma 3 dioic acid that is uh, the first carbon second carbon third carbon uh, 2 oxo propane 1 comma 3 dioic acid that is here one acid group here 
uh, one acid group. So, 1, 3 dioic acid that is meso oxalic acid. Here, uh, this is tartonic acid. Uh, first, here on acid. Second, this is alcoholic group which undergoes oxidation to form a keto group. And the third is acid group. So, this tartonic acid also gives the same product by oxidation that is meso oxalic acid. Okay, so, let us see the last step. Here, the meso oxalic acid which undergoes oxidation to form oxalic acid or otherwise it is called as ethene 1 comma 2 dioic acid that is 1 comma 2 dioic acid here 2 carbon atoms. So, ethene 1 comma 2 dioic acid which is otherwise called as oxalic acid. So, that is all about the oxidation reactions of glycerol that is uh, glycerol undergoes oxidation to give two products that is glycerol decay to hydroxy acetone. This glycerol decay undergoes oxidation to form glyceric acid. This glyceric acid undergoes oxidation to form tartonic acid. Here, the tartonic acid and this dihydroxy acetone, which undergoes oxidation to give the same product, which is meso oxalic acid. And in the last step, the meso oxalic acid undergoes oxidation to form oxalic acid. Okay. That is all about the oxidation reactions of glycerol that is uh, glycerol generally undergoes oxidation by using a uh, concentrated nitric acid to form glyceric acid and also by using dilute nitric acid to form glyceric acid. Okay. So, if you all like this video please share this video like it and comment it please subscribe our channel uh, chemistry lab and support our channel. Thank you.